Hi all, myself Professor Disha Shukla and I am conducting the subject wireless communication. My today's topic is log distance or log normal shadowing model. Now this is a part of link budget analysis. We have already seen what is a link budget analysis or link budget design. So basically link budget design is something that we use for calculating the total loss that has occurred in a system. That is we keep uh, we add the different gains that the system has may it be the antenna gain of the transmitter or the receiver and the other uh, additional gains and um, uh, subtract the losses that has occurred at the transmitter side or at the receiver side or bec uh, the uh, losses due to the atmosphere etc so adding the gains that we have and subtracting the losses gives us the link budget analysis of a particular system now log distance model or a log normal shadowing model is again a link analysis or a link budget analysis model that helps us in finding the loss in a particular system. See theoretically and measurement based propagation models indicate that the average received signal power decreases logarithmically with distance whether it is indoor or outdoor radio channel that is whenever a particular that is uh, practically me practical measurements or based on the theories it has been proved or it has been indicated it has been seen then that the average received signal power that is the power that we received uh, that that we receive at the receivers end that power decreases logarithmically as the distance increases so as and when the distance increases the power decreases and that decreases logarithmically whether it is an indoor or outdoor radio channel so the average large scale path loss of an arbitrary transmitter receiver separation is expressed by a function of distance by using a path loss exponent n that is we can calculate or we can express the distance between the transmitter and the receivers path loss sep using the path loss exponent n this is the equation that describes the path loss based on the distance and it varies as d by d0 raised to n where d and d0 is the close in reference distance and d is the distance between the transmitter and the receiver now here as pl when we uh, calculate it based on the db we get it pl of d0 plus 10 n log of d by d0 so here n is the path loss exponent which indicates the rate at which the path loss increases with the distance n is the path loss exponent i mean it is the exponent uh, as we have already seen that the path loss increases logarithmically so n is the exponent which indicates the rate at which the path loss increases with the distance and d0 is the close in reference distance and d is the t, uh, distance between the transmitter and the receiver that is the separation distance in a large coverage cellular system one kilometer reference distances are commonly used for a microcellular system much smaller distances are used that is 100 meters to 1 meter the reference distance should be in the far in the far field of the antenna and the far field distance can generally be calculated df is equal to 2 d square by lambda where lambda is the frequency of the system and log normal shadowing now measured this measured signals that we have it can be vastly different at two different locations having the same transmitter and the receiver separation measurements show that any value of d the path loss is random and distributed log normally about the mean distance dependent value that is the measurements have sh shown that at any value of d at any value of distance d the path loss is random and the distributed log normally and the distributed log normally about the mean distance dependent value so the log normal distribution decreases the random shadowing effect which occurs over a large number of measurement location which have the same transmitter receiver separation but have a different level of clusters on the propagation path so this is called the log normal shadowing that is here we are talking mostly about the shadowing effect or the random shadowing effect that occurs due to the 
due to the obstruction that we have in the between the two transmitter and the receiver so this is the log distance model or the log normal shadowing model